bad little thing, a true religion ginger Super clean, yo, what's good with you and me, yo Chasing dreams, yo, hit me when you're free, yo Hey everybody, I'm Chink. Welcome back to my channel. And today I'm doing a hair review. Um, I found this company because I needed some hair. I ain't worn no bundles in about over two years since I had my daughter because I haven't had the time to really spend on myself. I've been focused on my child. I haven't had any time really to sit down and make wigs. So I needed some bundles so I went ahead and I started looking and I found this company called the bundle lady and is two e's is these with two e's the bundle lady what three bundles and the deal was a free closure with the three bundles so i got i got a 22 a 20 and an 18 and i got a 16 inch closure the hair feels and smells and looks very clean like it was properly cleaned before it got to me um i did wet the hair to see if I would get any dyes off of it. I didn't get any dyes or any discoloration from the water or anything like that. I really like this hair and I'm gonna show y'all why. I made a U-part wig with the three bundles. I didn't apply the closure because I'm gonna do a separate video and show you guys how I lay my closures on a wig or sew in whichever one you guys prefer or whichever one I do first. But this is the wig I made. As you can see, the hair has a lot, a lot of movement. It's not stiff, it's not stale. I really love the wave pattern. This hair is not flat or thin. All the bundles were very full. I didn't receive any thin bundles or a thin closure. So this is the wig cap that I chose to use. Use the dome cap. And you can get a dome cap in men or women's. I chose the women's because it's more snug and it's better choice for a wig. So I just chose that one and it's spandex, it's all spandex and it has, it comes with a really thick elastic band that I cut off of it because I'm going to be using that for my closure in future video. As you can see it's stretchy so it will stretch to the size of my head if there's any tiny amount of space that I cannot cover. It will easily stretch to cover that and I use nylon thread, I use any premium nylon thread y'all can't see that but this nylon thread is really stretchy so that helped add stretch to everything so that it will be a more comfortable fit but I'm so in love with this hair this hair is so pretty and it's like shiny it's not too glossy or shiny to where it doesn't look realistic the luster is like very natural and pretty on this hair I don't have any shedding or tangling or anything like that. I can run my hair, my hands through this hair a million times and not come out with not a single strand or not too many, if any. You can see right there, I got one strand and that's it. And I ran my fingers through the hair more than once. This time I don't have any strands at all. I don't have any. There's no hair on the table or anything like that. What I like about this hair is, when you look at the ends, there's no split ends. The ends are very beautiful. They're not bluntly cut or anything like that. They look very natural and tapered. There's no roughness to this hair in any area of the hair or anything like that. So I love that. I really love this hair. I also don't get any shedding from this closure. I, I don't have any hair in my fingers. I also don't have any shedding from here. I don't, I don't have any tangling or anything like that. I also washed the closure to make sure that there wasn't going to be any dye coming off of it or anything like that. And I didn't get any discoloration from the water or anything like that. Another thing I like about this closure is that I don't know, knots on the closure came bleached. It looks like it's pre-plucked as well because it came with baby hairs and it doesn't look like, uh, it doesn't look like I'm going to have to do any tweezing to this closure or plucking to this closure because as you can see the baby hairs aren't too thick they're just natural looking also if you guys can see through this closure like I can 
you can see that it's not too thick. Let me put it on my. It's not too thick. So where I have, if I had to do any plucking, I wouldn't have to do much at all. Like that looks so pretty. Here go a part that's already in it. If you can see that, it already looks very, very natural. Also, what I like about this hair is that, well, this closure is that the curl pattern or the wave pattern matches the bundles. And the ends on this closure are very healthy as well. They're not blunt cut. They're very tapered and smooth and soft. They don't feel rough or damaged or anything like that. None of this hair feels damaged. It's all soft and healthy feeling. I'll be uploading a video of me doing a U part wig install tutorial. And I'm gonna be showing y'all how I apply my wig. So that should be really, really fun. Because I already made this wig before I did the review, which the reason was I did that because I wanted to manipulate this hair at least a little bit in some type of way before I did a review so I can give y'all an honest review on this hair. Though I did pay my cash for this hair, I just wanted to do a review on, on this hair for you guys so you guys can see, get a good idea of what you should expect out of virgin hair. I don't remember that anything is the inside of the wig up close you guys can see how I stitched it on there and like I said it's very stretchy so that if I can't cover any part of my head any tiny itty bitty part of my head it will definitely stretch easily and give so that I can cover that area without putting strain on my hair or without it being too tight or uncomfortable during the wear so in my future videos about this hair, I will be giving y'all updates about this hair as I wear it, as I wear sew-ins with it, as I wear different types of wigs with it, as far as what type of products I put in it and how it affects the hair, how I care for the hair, how I wash it, everything like that. I will be keeping y'all updated on everything. Oh yeah, let me introduce her y'all because y'all gonna see her a lot. This is Lolita. She bald headed. She got tape around her head like she been through trauma because I had to add tape around her head to basically give it size so it will match up to my big old head. She ugly. She got a dent in her nose and everything. She old and beat up. She done been through a lot of wigs. Trust and believe that. So y'all will see her a lot. Also, I will be leaving the information to this company in the description box below. So don't forget to check the description box if you like this hair or you have some type of interest in this hair and you want to check it out. Feel free to go and look in the description box because I will be leaving all information about this hair in the description box.